Hi guys, I'm Kesha. Welcome to the channel and welcome as always to our coffee times. Today I am here to let you know some new book releases. I like to do these videos every month. This time is just coming up a little bit delayed but it's still the 3rd of November so we still have some books to talk about that are going to be released. Most of these books are horror or thriller books and um, I have a total of 10 of them. So I feel like in October we got so many releases and now we're kind of slowing down a little bit so I was only able to find 10 releases that I was really interested in. Like I said most of these books are thrillers or horror and before we jump into those books please remember that if you love horror and if you love books subscribing is free so please consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more coffee times. So on the 1st of November, and basically it means it's already out, we have The Hunting of Brain Wilder by Wendy Webb. And this is a gothic mystery about a woman that after suffering a very tragic loss and trying to kind of restart her life, she decides to go to this boarding house for the summer. And while she's there, she meets kind of like a weird, um, you know, ensemble of characters and she starts to have these weird nightmares. So if you love gothic stories, this might be one that you would like to check for the winter. On the 3rd of November, so coming out today, we have a couple of books. The first one sounds really interesting and that is The Last Ritual, an Arkham horror novel by S.A. Cedar. This is fantasy combined with horror and we follow a painter that has been invited to join this commune of painters in Arkham and basically there is this surrealist Spanish painter that comes and starts to have weird rituals and people start to really love him and follow him so I am curious to see if this is going to be also a little bit like a cult sort of story so obviously there is something that this Spanish painter is hiding there is a reason for his ritualistic uh, practices and this just sounds fantastic the other one coming out on the 3rd of November is one that it sounds really great because it is a compilation of short stories but it is horror based on kind of like real life things like real life events and i always love when horrors combine with something super real because i just feel like it hits closer to home and that is from the neck up by alaya whiteley and this is one that i also would like to check out at some point on the 10th of november there is a book that i am dying to read i actually requested this from NetGalley but it has not been approved yet so I'm really sad because it doesn't look like they're gonna approve that for me so I'm gonna have to go and get my own copy as soon as I can because I think this is going to be the perfect read for December and it's called Secret Santa by Andrew Schaffer this is adult horror and we follow Lucy um, Lucy is trying to find a job in a publishing um, you know company and he does get a job but apparently everybody in the office is really mean to him and his task is kind of to find the new Stephen King. I think this book is based on the 80s so he is responsible to, to look for the next horror gem like you know Stephen King and Rise. I think it's gonna be really funny because this is pitched to be the office meets Stephen King and based on the cover like I really want to read this book and basically Lucy when it's uh, at the new job and they do a secret Santa receives a present that it's kind of like a demonic object and then people start dying something like that so this is going to be great for a December read. On the 12th of November we have Witch Bottle by Tom Fletcher and this is adult horror. We are following Daniel and Daniel's life has not been easy. He lost his brother and then he did have a wife and a kid but they also left him. So basically he he's just doing his job in England as a milkman. His job is very boring and then one day he starts having these really weird nightmares and weird things start to happen around him. So he decides to consult a local witch. Really excited to see a story in England with a witch and by 
the sound of it seems it's going to be like a small town kind of story so this is one that promises to be very atmospheric on the 15th of november we have the warp and his kings by hailey piper and this is pitched to be lovecraftian horror and it takes place in new york city in the 90s so monique's girlfriend donna disappears and you know she's just trying to find her girlfriend but she's not thinking much about the real reason why this happened until other impoverished women start disappearing and so she kind of embarks in this mission to try to figure out what happens i think she ends up going kind of on the underground of the city to try to figure out what's happening to these women so this is one that sounds actually pretty good and I love books based in the 80s and the 90s not gonna lie on the 17th of November we have a release that I am ex extremely extremely excited about because it has to do with religious cults and I love everything that has to do with cults I just find it fascinating and it's called the children of red peak by craig de louis it's adult horror so red peak is this mountain where a bunch of kids survived these religious kind of cult kind of group and years later some of the survivors do commit suicide and then they all kind of meet in a group to talk about their experiences to talk about what happened to them and apparently one when they start kind of talking opening up they start to remember things that are making them question what is actually going on in that month time also on the 17th we have this is not a ghost story by andrea portes this is ya horror and it kind of sounds similar to lock every door by riley sager in the sense that we have here a girl that before going over to college um she decides to take a job for the summer and she's kind of babysitting this huge mansion but of course there had to be a catch, there had to be something going on in that mansion when she starts her job as a babysitter of this mansion during summer weird things start to happen and she realizes that there is this dark force in the house with her and she needs to figure it out how to solve the puzzle another one coming on the same day that sounds really intriguing to me because i've never heard this pitch before is ink by jonathan maberry it's adult horror thriller so we have here a tattoo artist that has tattooed her dead daughter's face on her hand and one day the daughter's uh, tattoo starts disappearing starts fading and so do the memories that she has of her daughter so it comes to the point where she can only barely remember that she had a kid and she lost it but the memories as well as the tattoos start to fade and we also follow a police detective that also has tattooed in his body murder victims faces and they also start to fade so apparently we're going to be following a couple of different characters who had tattooed on their skin murder victims or just their deceased loved ones and those tattoos start fading at the same time that they start forgetting about them and the last book that i would like to talk to you about sounds like your classic murder mystery whodunit story and we all love those like it is just exciting to figure out who killed who so that one is called 13 stories by jonathan sims this is adult horror mystery and we have this multi-millionaire that invites a group of strangers um that seem to be a random group of people that don't know each other to his like super good penthouse and they all spend the night there and obviously something happens the um the owner of the penthouse a multi-millionaire guy ends up dead so who killed him what happened that night so this is like super you know straightforward whodunit mystery all right you guys so these are all the books that i wanted to mention that are coming out in the month of november i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful let me know down below if you know of any, any other releases of the month of november that i might be interested in let's talk about it in the comments thanks so much for watching you guys please give the video a big thumbs up for support and if you want to follow me on the social media as always the links are down below and i hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye